I've been thinking to make with my hands by myself a wooden puppet. Pinocchio, try say something. Babbo. I have a son. My son is born. From one day to the next. What do you mean from one day? From one minute to the next. Watch me, eh? And one and two. If you do like me, in two or three days you'll be walking by your... Pinocchio! He's a puppet like us! Who are you? Pinocchio. Ask him! I know a certain place called the Field of Miracles. <laughs> Put him in prison! Oh, come in prison! And now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the donkey Pinocchio! Did you grow up? It's a secret, you know. I don't want to be a puppet. I want to become a boy like all the others. Hello? Hello? Ciao. Ciao, Hi. Matteo. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, are you in your kid's room? Sorry? Are you in your child's room? Are you in the in your... No, I'm, uh, I'm in my my office. <laughs> oh, you are, you're, you're in your office? Uh, okay. I thought I saw... I wasn't sure. Because <laughs> no, no, nowadays, my... you kind of... You never know where you're going to talk to someone. They They could be anywhere. This is my office. Oh, very, very good. You have your light. Oh, you're all set for Zoom. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Well, I guess you're a filmmaker. I have mine too, but I, I didn't, I haven't set it up. You, <laughs> okay. Maybe, yeah. Maybe you can visit and help me set up my uh, space because I'm doing a lot of this. Uh, it's so nice to meet you. I got to tell you, the idea of talking to you, uh, and I enjoy talking to filmmakers quite frequently, but I was so excited by the prospect of talking to you because uh, I, I just would not have guessed that I would. So there was the nice surprise, uh, but I'm also a fan, so. Okay, I'm here again. I take two. <laughs> Hopefully we'll, think we'll, we'll hope for the best. Okay. I, I was in the middle of complimenting you. So, you yeah. know, okay. I, I was saying. I, I didn't hear, but uh, thanks anyway. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, yeah, no, uh, you know, the movies, your films that have come here and that have gotten good distribution, you know, I've been able yeah. to see or I've gone seen them in the festivals and uh, wow, you know, so terrific. Now, we, yeah. I think when you were a young man or young, maybe a boy, that Pinocchio, which was, of course, uh, very popular here, but we as Americans got a very, very different version of Pinocchio. Yeah. The tail, very, you know, like washed, uh, clean, cleaned up and what, you know what I'm saying, right? Pure version, Disney, everybody looked really cute. Yes. You lost the darker edge of those fairy tales. Yeah. What were you also? What what what, what did you grow up on? You must have seen the Disney version when you were young. Yeah, I saw the the Disney version, but uh, in um, in my country there was a very popular television series uh, of Pinocchio by oh. directed by a 
Luigi Comencini in the 1970, uh, a very good Italian director. And so I grew up with this uh, series in television that was really good, was really good. Oh, yeah. And, so, right, and you would have been at a very young age, right, in the 70s. Yeah, I was, uh, I was, uh, yeah, I'm, I born in 68, so at that time I was uh, around 10, 10, 11 years. So it was end, uh, the end of 70, so around 10 years old. Well, you're mentioning that. I saw in Roberto, his, uh, in his uh, filmography that he even made a version, he directed a version of Pinocchio, right? About 15, 16 years ago. Yeah. Roberto when, Benini, right? He made a version. Yeah, around 20 years ago. Uh, but I remember that my first, uh, first in, in um, that probably, um, the first time, my first approach with Pinocchio was even earlier than when I was oh. 10. Because uh, when I was um, five or six, uh -huh. uh, my mother told me the story of Pinocchio, and I made a storyboard. Right. I have I have in in my in my room uh, the storyboard of Pinocchio Still? drawing by me. You know, so it's something that uh, I I use as a model, uh, as uh, I keep in my in front of my desk. Because when you are um, a kid, you are pure, you know, in a way. You are. Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah. So I. Well, then uh, that, the having, how old were you? You said you were less than 10? When I made the story, but I was around five, six years old. Do you want to see? That's pretty. Yes, I do. Of course. Now we've lost him. I've lost my, but I'll just, uh, in the meantime, I'll, I don't know, I'll do uh, impressions. Um, That's funny. There he is. Okay, thank gosh. Oh, wow. Hold on. Oh, yeah. So I saw this in the production notes. Very good. Yeah. This is fantastic. This, this is my storyboard. It took wow. uh, it took uh, it took 45 years to make the movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, remake it because you made it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. How young were you when you realized that you could actually like do this for a living or at least explore the idea because you it seems like you were into telling stories at a very young age yes yeah then i i had a period of my life where i wanted to become a tennis player so i i quit a little bit okay <laughs> my, and and uh, i remember i came in the states for playing tennis with the nick bolletieri academy when i was 18 that's my and oh. then, uh, and then I failed, and so I, I went back to my um, to paintings. So before to be a director, I was a painter, and so okay. my background is is this. And probably uh, you can see on in the movie. And then I I I now it's around twenty years that I don't paint, but I do making movie in a way. So I don't miss. What? Well, it's a an, an remarkable. I mean, finally, the technology that's available where you can do a live action version of this and it looks yes, exactly. remarkable and the emotional performances are there. You can do it. Yeah. yeah. And so you're, this was obviously your destiny to make the film on a personal level. But what about from the like, you know, the industry? I mean, in Italy, maybe Pinocchio is still this enormous story that is where they welcome uh, retelling every so often well, uh, well uh, it, it's 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 i mean we we were very surprised uh, when uh, last christmas uh, we we had such a uh, incredible success in italy because um uh, in italy a story of pinocchio has been you know adapted many times so the risk was you know to do something that was uh, not new. So our biggest challenge in Italy, especially, and of course, also in the rest of the world, was to make a version of Pinocchio that could be unpredictable, that could be surprising, that could be new, remaining faithful to the original book. Because I don't know why, but every time there are adap adaptation of uh, of Pinocchio, I don't know why in the past many other 
uh, directors change a lot. I wanted to be faithful, you know, so my, my documentation on the, we went to the, to reach all the paintings of the period, all the photography, all the illustration of the period. And we wanted to make a version of Pinocchio really faithful to the original one, new, new one. And at the same time, it's also a movie that could be a movie for family, for kids, for adults, that can have, have a sort of uh, funny and sometimes dark in other, you know, because uh, we, we know that the story of Pinocchio is, uh, is funny in some moment, but it's also dark, violent sometimes, because Collodi uh, wanted to teach to the kids uh, that the, the reality around us and uh, around them can be very dangerous, can be very violent. So be careful. Be careful, especially when, when you took a decision, be careful because if you take a wrong decision, then you can have this consequence. So that's mm. why he mm. show, show the consequence. You know, and 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 this I think is like in all the fairy tales is is always actual. It talks always about today. You know, Pinocchio is a story that talk about the past, talk about today, and talk about future. It, it talks about us. You know, yeah, very Italian, think... but also universal. Yes, I remember, of course, you know, Wizard of Oz when I was little. I'm sure you saw Wizard of Oz and terrifying the witch was terrifying the flying monkeys were even more terrifying you had we had chitty chitty bang bang from England, which was also had this very very violent image of this you know of the uh the villain and and so this kind of is in that tradition to some degree where you have real villains real danger right around the corner all the time for pinocchio do you, but kids embrace it you know what i'm saying like our favorite films were those movies i mentioned uh, as in my generation or our generation. So I feel like this could also be the case. We don't have to clean everything up, you know, for kids. Kids are ready to actually, they can process exactly. the messages. I agree. I agree. I agree, completely agree with you. I think it's very yeah. important. It's very important to take, you know, to have, uh, uh, to, to start to understand that, uh, that the reality around us is not uh, only uh, beauty, but there is, there is uh, dark and light. So they, the kids are, are really you know, sensitive and, and intelligent to, to understand this and to prepare them to the world. That's, that's the lesson of Collodi, you know, the main important lesson, you know, he right. teach something to them, he give a lesson. And it showed the concept because Pinocchio is a sort of anti-hero. You know, Pinocchio made always the wrong decision in his, in his yes. story. He always the wrong. But and, the and end, push back when he was given advice. He pushed like with the cricket, you know, he pushes it back even. He doesn't exactly, want to hear it. Exactly. But at the end, there is a sort of redemption that is very important. See, he right. understand, he understands how important is his love for the father how important it is to take care about the father, you know? So at the end, there is a very important uh, lesson, you know, because it's an incredible love story between a father and a son, this, this story. So at the end, the way how Pinocchio understand and his redemption, I think is very important. And it gives, at the end, um, uh, it, it bring a light in the story. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, and maybe is... parent. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was going to say maybe parents now. Parents are so at least again in the United States, they're so protective of their children. I mean, I'm generalizing, but you know, parents don't want their children to be scared, and they don't want them. <laughs> you know, they're so overly protective. But maybe this is the right film at the right time because our our world has been under so so much volatility going on and yeah. we're still unsure of our future all the time. It's been scary with COVID-19, with our leadership or lack of leadership, et cetera, et cetera. 
the movie now seeing a movie like Pinocchio see it with your the kids and the parents together and talk about what we're talking about rather than have them see the only the Disney version I don't mean to constantly beat up Disney but there should be alternatives and choice out there when it comes to storytelling absolutely absolutely, absolutely. I'm a big big fan of Pixar for me Pixar and uh, the movie from Pixar are one of the of the best uh, movie uh, oh yes yeah so I'm a big fan of Pixar so for me but of course you know it's uh, that makes sense yeah. yeah up 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 Wally etc yeah right those movies Wally yeah you know what they, they and, show and, you know they show they are always unpredictable. They show, yes, Wally and uh, ma many, many others. Sorry, that's uh, no, no. I wasn't sure if that was me, and I'm getting, <laughs> getting the, uh, getting the, 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 the message to hurry up with the. <laughs> I need, I need an, I, uh, uh, Matteo. I need another hour with you. I, I feel uh, <laughs> there's so much to talk about, yeah. you know. But, but I'm glad Pinocchio's coming here, and uh, I'm going to urge. Again, I'll urge, this is a great uh, family film. Maybe over the holidays, people can pre uh, watch it. Does it, it comes out on uh, Christmas? Yes, last Christmas in Italy, uh, just before the COVID. And it was, uh, it was the- um... Well, I'm saying here though, here. Huh? I think it's coming ah, yes, out here. Oh, yes, Chelsea Christmas. could, yes. Christmas. She, I just got a message confirming that it, uh, it is coming out on Christmas, and I will make sure that I urge everybody to see to see it. Uh, but uh, yeah, Thanks. I enjoyed it. I, um, are you already moved on to your next project? Uh, no, um, at the moment I'm um, I'm looking for a new idea. Uh, but uh, you know, for me, the work on Pinocchio has been such intense and. Uh, such long period of my life so also beautiful because we we work on this project for three years and i i lived for three years with this uh, character you know in well that world. not including the storyboard you you showed me three years yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe 43. So, yeah so now i have to to find a new a new challenge a new project and uh, in this period, it's not easy to find, you know, to to find, you know, an idea that um, makes sense to do that uh, that I really yeah. uh, want to make. So I am not in hurry, and uh, but at the same time, I'm really uh, happy and and thrilled about the the fact that uh, finally Pinocchio arrived in the states and. Uh, and happy that uh, they will be um, they will be shown in theater because I think it's a movie that in theater in the big screen can have an impact very strong on the audience. And so um, in this moment, I know that it's a difficult moment, a desperate moment. But um, I hope that um, the the audience at the beginning will see the movie in the cinema. That's uh, something that I think for kids and for adults in the States, I think there will be a moment that probably they will re remember. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great if this were the first movie that people started returning to the movie? Uh, yeah. It would be. I yeah. hope, I hope the, um, I mean, I don't, I'm not 100% sure what the movies, go, movie going is like in Italy right now, but here it's pretty, been pretty bleak. Yeah. No, yeah. Anyway, I'm, I've been also very, very lucky that Roberto Benigni was with me on this, on this project. Yeah. He's so perfect. He's finally aged into being Geppetto. What? I don't know he's I, he's how he feels about that, but he's so he, perfect. He, yeah, he's perfect. He, he, grow, he, he comes from uh, Tuscany. He grew up in a family of farmer, very poor. So mm -hmm. he was Geppetto. He was really Geppetto, you know. His parents were a farmer. And we know that Pinocchio is a story also that talks about a specific moment of, uh, of Italy at the end of uh, 19th century. And he talks about poverty. He talks about poverty. Yes. So right. he's one of the main characters in the story. Yeah, as a matter of fact, 
one of your earliest sequences it shows Geppetto coming into the uh, tavern. Yeah. Uh, isn't it, it's a ta like a, a restaurant or cafe, yes. a tavern. There were no cafes. <laughs> there, was, uh, there were pubs and taverns, but he, he comes in and the chair is a little wobbly and he, he did, you know, and he wants, he offers to fix it just for any, any kind of money or and then yeah. the table doesn't work is lopsided. And then the door is not correctly placed. So he's, he's desperate, you know, yeah, you see desperation. We laugh about it, but we also know that people are desperate, have been desperate, and uh, it's uh, it's a it it talk it, yeah. That's one of those very very honest uh, film uh, stories, rather. Yeah, yeah. I think we're winding down. So uh, anyway, I got to wrap it up with you. It's I, I I don't usually do short interviews because I like to get into things a little bit more. I know, I know. in a nuanced way. But with I made an exception because I I want people to see Pinocchio, but I also wanted to meet you personally. So thank you, thank you. It was a real pleasure to talk with you. Oh, same thank here. You. Thank you, for, and thank you for showing me the storyboard. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, it's good to meet you. Okay, ciao, 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 ciao. Take care. Thank you both. Thanks. Thank you, Chelsea.